What's up YouTube? We got a guest in the snake pit today. As you can tell from the shirt, who it is. Cue the intro, dive on in. All right, so while Jim's here, we're gonna do the trendy thing and do top five. Top five animals Jim likes in the collection right now that we got. So uh, go ahead, start it out. All right, well, Where start, are we going? I'm gonna start with this girl right behind me. This looks, she looks crazy, um, but the thing that really drew me to her was you know, some of the possibilities that could come down the road. Um, so we're gonna look at an Inchi Disco Fire that's Het Clown. And I know there's a little bit of story, we don't have to go into that, but she's a Pos Het a Rainbow, which would be insane. Yeah. Um, if if you were able to prove that out as well and you're you know deep into the rainbow clown stuff um this she, she is a great eater and has got up to size really quick i've only had her for a year and i got her as like a bigger hatchling size wow wow yeah she's doing well then i love that head like there's like this i mean most of it looks like vanilla scream ish yeah um but that head has some really cool yellows in there that looks really good and again, seeing some of this stuff in, in clown, and then if it does prove for a rainbow, bro, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. wicked. I'm losing half of your bedding here. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. We're switching to Cypress anyways. Nice. Yeah, this is, this is cool. So this is number five on my countdown selection of favorite ball pythons here at Small Town Exotics. Good choice. I'm a big fan of disco. Everyone that watches the channel knows I'm a disco lover, so good that choice. had no influence in my choices, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so what do we got next? Jump right into number two. So um, I just kind of pulling them, kind of in order, but going around, I saw this girl. So this is a yellow belly slash gravel cypress. Um, I have a, I only have one cypress. I, I love cypress stuff. Um, and I, I got a really nice female from Miguel, and she just refuses to lay for me. <laughs> so um, anytime I get get my eyes on a cypress, I just yeah, I just oh, it's crazy. This one is actually from Miguel as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. So yeah, I love just what cypress does with the alien heads. Kind of cuts off some of the bottoms in places, and oh, just the spacing, the darkness, the blushing. I, I like the color to them too. They're like a. Like a yeah, like, like a, a like a gold. Mojave, but better. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And you can see kind of on the yellow belly asphalt on the belly line. That's all that checkering that you're looking on for on the side, and then any of that flaming, you know, coming up there. So it's definitely one or the other. And uh, oh, do you have plans for her? Yeah, she's being bred to a uh, combo yellow belly clown right now. So proving out that yellow belly or gravel. Nice. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, she's she's beautiful. All right, so moving on uh, to number three. Um, this is a visual. So this is a, a yellow belly Mojave clown. Um, I, I don't know. I, this one just had a little little specialness to her that I like. I like the color tone that Mojave brings into here, and then you know you're getting you know a little bit wider dorsals and some of this tracing from the yellow belly up top. And then uh, that's clearly yellow belly along the bottom there. Now you don't have the dark checkering like the one we just saw, but you can see all that, all that checkering still going along the belly, and you know some nice flaming blushing coming up from the side. So, and the, the little quick story behind her is that was my souvenir when I went to Justin's. Instead uh, of getting nice. a shirt or a hat or a keychain or something, I bought her. It, well, <laughs> uh, you can't. You know, t-shirts tear, you might lose a yeah. keychain. <laughs> and this girl will give you your money back. Um, mm -hmm. not, not a lot of people like to talk about that, but um, yeah, she's beautiful. I like this one too. And I love Mojave, so. Yeah, Mojave, yellow belly clown. And she is possible red stripe and possible het hypo too. So there was- Oh boy. So there was a, you know some advantages to this purchase too. Yeah, and has she produced for you before? No. She might, I mean, she hasn't been ultrasounding any follicles, but she's definitely getting the size. Do you have something in your brain you want to put to her for the first go around? <sighs> no, no, I mean, if it's going to be next year, I'd put the Enhancer G-Stripe to her. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah that'd be nice. That's solid. That's yeah. some serious triples right there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, heat, baby. Small <laughs> town bringing heat. So I got, I got two more on the list uh, we're going to take a look at. 
and uh, we'll probably wrap it up there or unless you got something else you want to do no let's uh yeah let's go over to the other side of the room and take a look at some of the stuff we picked up this year all right all right so now we're over here on the hatchling side of the room and uh he's actually picked out two animals that i purchased this year and they're very good animals might i add so they look they look great yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna look at this one this is a uh, one of the lace jeans or one of the animals with the lace jean and this is a, a blackhead lace so very classic head pattern for blackhead um, with the short eye stripes they don't quite go all the way back nice blushed out head um, you can see there's a lot of blushing very lighter in color than what you would normally see with a black head and that's because once you open her up oh that's all your lace stuff going crazy yep all that popcorning yeah and she just had a fresh shed so her blacks are like super black right yeah, now. yeah they look good um usually the blackhead stuff in the alien heads is a little darker um, but I think the lace is really doing some wonderful stuff here. This is an awesome, awesome. And this is a female, right? Yeah, it's a female. Yeah, this is amazing. And you got her from? Marshall Law Morphs. Big shout out to Marshall. Yeah, nice, nice stuff, man. Um, nicely done. Very, very high quality animal right there. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And nice something pick. that drew me to her was uh, that's not like your run of the mill combo either. You know, it's two of my you know jeans that i like blackhead and lace and one snake yeah uh, yeah no hat so i can go any direction i want with her yeah she looks great nicely done and the other one that I, I picked out was right over here as well but i'm going to sanitize before i touch that snake good biosecurity um the, the next choice here for me is this animal the color tones on here on her are crazy so this is a yellow belly red stripe wookie visual clown <laughs> yeah i would love to have one of these in the El collection looks like she just ate so i'm going to be very careful with her the blushing and the color tone from the wookie in this thing is bonkers absolutely bonkers and that head i mean that's got to be a combo between the red stripe and the wookie doing all that crazy orange yeah yeah um <clears throat> when i bought this animal there was a comparison picture that i was sent of one without red stripe you could definitely see the difference and this is from cd constrictors Corey delong definitely go check him out he's got some upper shelf top-notch stuff oh yeah uh this thing is yeah i ain't gonna lie this is my, this is my this. favorite snake in my collection right now just like visually looking at it this is like my favorite i love that head the orange on that head is just it's out of control. A, a yet again, another beautiful animal. And just adding some great heat to great heat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's awesome. Nice, nicely done. Nice pickup. Well, I want to thank Jim for coming all the way over here to see me. We're actually going to go ship a snake, have lunch with the kids, and uh, yeah, have do some, some uh, bonding. So. Uh, there you go. Until next time, guys, Jim, where can we get a hold of you at for anyone that may not know you? EctothermicDungeon.com, Ectothermic Dungeon on Instagram, kind of YouTube, um, just Ectothermic Dungeon, any, pretty much anywhere. Look for that symbol right there. All right, until next time, guys, rock on. <laughs>